Hello and welcome to part four in my series of videos about items from my music collection that I've had autographed over the years and the, the stories that go along with those. This one, this band right here, that's what this one's about. AC, I'll call them. That's their uh, the polite way of saying their name, AC. So uh, this is a story about me getting something signed by the singer, my friend Seth. I knew for years. Um, Seth passed away a few years ago. But the good thing is, is I have a great story about meeting Seth and about getting something signed by him. Uh, AC um, is a grindcore band. They put out many albums. This one's called Everyone Should Be Killed. Uh, grindcore is a really brutal, noisy brand of kind of metal punk rock and roll. Really fast and really unintelligible lyrics and uh, uh, intense stuff and I was a fan of this band for a while and uh, at one time and what was it the early to mid 90s I went to New York City to see three bands uh, it was Crash Worship kind of a tribal noise band from uh, West Coast uh, AC and also um, a band called oh man it was just other band uh Ram something. I can't remember the name of the other band, but it was at a club called The Cooler in New York City. I'm going to guess this is around 93, 94, maybe 95, somewhere around there. And anyway, so I'm at the show and I'm walking around before the show and uh, I knew who AC was. And um, so I'm walking around and I have a Village People shirt on. And uh, because I love the Village People, I collect the Village People. I love the Village People. Big, big fan. So uh, I'm walking around in my Village People shirt, and Seth, from the band, AC, comes up to me. This guy right here. That guy. He comes up to me, and I'll, I'll do my best Seth impersonation here. He comes up, and he goes, Hey, oh, you like the Village People? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I love the Village People. And he was like, yeah, I do too. That's my favorite band. My name's Seth. I sing for AC. And I was like, oh, wow, my name's Michael. I'm a big fan of your band. I'm here from North Carolina. We just saw Crash Worship you know, recently in North Carolina. So we're up here to see them in New York City. So then we started talking. We became friends uh, because we shared a love of the village people, literally. And um, a lot of people wouldn't believe that his favorite band is the village people. But it really was. I mean, he was the band that he was in was real brutal. I mean, uh, you know, here's an album they had called I Like It When You Die. Uh they were brutal and they were noisy and they were nothing like village people, but Seth really loved the village people. So once uh, I went to his house fairly recently after meeting him, and I went to his house in Boston and uh, he took me to his room, which was a mess, stuff everywhere, all the floor, collectibles, music stuff, records, t-shirts, clothing, whatever. It was all over the place. And uh, he wasn't a very tidy guy, okay? So we get to his room and he's trying to show me some... Um, village people collectibles and he pulls this one really cool thing off the floor and it's a it's one of those promo cardboard mobiles that record companies make for used to make for records where it have hanging pieces of cardboard with record graphics on it swinging in the wind or whatever so he had one of those of village people and he pulled it up and i was like oh my god i can't believe you had this this must be really hard to find yeah village people and um and then I noticed it had kind of a footprint on it <laughs> because, you know, his room was so messy and he stepped on it at some point. There was like a shoe tread on it. And I was like, dude, this is like one of the coolest village people things I've ever seen. And it's got a footprint on it because you're so messy. What the fuck? So I started, you know, every time we would get together or talk on the phone, I would say something about, you know, he'd be telling me about a record that was coming out or a new something he got or whatever. And I'd always say, is there a footprint on it? Or was there a footprint on it, Seth? So that became kind of an inside joke for us. So one day he sent me um, he sent me a record, an AC record or something. And in the record he has this letter for me. And I've had it framed for many years. It says, you're gay, heart Seth. And it has an outline of his what? A foot. It's got a footprint on it. So the whole you're gay thing, you know, take this for instance this album i like it when you die the uh titles of the songs are 
a lot of them are about gay. It's like pottery's gay, uh, uh, you're gay, uh, what are some other ones here? Um, the internet is gay, uh, Everclear, oh, you went to see Dishwalla and Everclear, subtitled You're Gay, Technology's Gay, a lot of songs about gay. And this was, <laughs> this was just a stupid sense of humor, right? A really stupid juvenile sense of humor. You know, when, you know, like when I was a kid in my child days, saying something that was gay was just saying it was corny or, or whatever it was. It was just gay. Oh, that's gay. It never meant homosexual to us. So that's kind of where this is coming from. But anyway, so he, he wrote me this, you're gay, heart Seth footprint on it. And I cherish this. Seth, if you're watching, I still got this and I really appreciate it. And it's got a footprint on it. It does. Uh, so yeah, you guys, please thumbs up, please subscribe. I'll have more autograph stories coming. So thanks for watching.